If you have a Sony camera, this $7 remote is an absolute no-brainer. Now, I've previously posted a video about this app called Monitor Plus, which is a great alternative to Sony's Imaging Edge app. But occasionally, you might not want to have to connect to an app. You want something that's a bit simpler. You literally turn on your camera and it immediately works. Enter this guy, which is an IR or infrared remote, which works basically the same way your TV remote does. You point it at the camera and you can control it. It's great for videos like this. If I want to change a setting, I'm, I'm too far away from the camera. I can't just reach behind it. I'm a good eight feet away from the camera. Like I'm, I'm not close to touching it, but I can control it with this remote. Now, if you record a lot of videos like this, like I do, this red button is really useful. It's a record button, starts and stops recording. Hit it once, starts recording, hit it again, it stops recording. Immediately below that is a zoom rocker. So if you use one of Sony's power zoom lenses, you can actually zoom just by using this remote. However, if you enable clear image zoom, you can actually use it with prime lenses as well. So right now we're using the 50 mil f1.2 G Master. It's a prime lens, you can't zoom on it. I've got clear image zoom enabled. If I click and hold, I can zoom in up to 1.5 times with no quality loss. Zoom out, I can now zoom out. Now, as well as being able to start and stop recording and zoom in and out, I can actually cycle through my display options. And now I can cycle through all my display options by pushing the display button on the remote. It even has a menu and a D-pad on here as well. So I can literally click on menu and now you see I can actually cycle through all my menus as if I was touching the D-pad on the back of the camera, but wirelessly with the remote instead. So if you shoot a lot of videos like this where the camera's too far away to reach, behind a desk, so for me if I need to change a setting, I'll get up, walk around the back there, change the setting, then walk back around, I can do it all wirelessly with the remote. It's useful. There's no pairing needed or anything like that. It's literally an IR remote control, which is a setting in most Sony cameras. If you have any Sony camera, probably within the last five years, this will likely work. Head into the menus, IR remote control, turn it on. This will then work. If you turn it off, this won't work. It's as simple as that. Any Sony camera that's really being used these days will probably work with this. I've been using this mostly to take video, but there is a shutter button on there as well. So if you wanted to use it to take photos, you could. Now I got this on Amazon for $7, $10 here in Canada. And you might be wondering, well, why did I get it so cheap? Well, I actually went on to buy the official Sony one, which is $40. And I saw this on there for seven bucks. It's quite clearly a copy. Figure what's the worst that can happen. Gave it a go and it works perfectly for seven bucks. Now I'm not gonna link a knockoff product below. I don't think that's morally right, nor am I endorsing you to buy something that is quite clearly a copy. But I will link the official Sony one down below, which is product number RMT DSLR2. I'm sure if you search hard enough, you can quite easily find this one. We can't ignore the fact that this does exist on Amazon for $7 and it works perfectly. Whichever one you end up getting, I just like the fact that this works immediately upon turning on the camera. You don't have to pair this or anything like that. I don't have to turn this on or off. And when I hit that red button, it just starts and stops 